You want the truth? I think you can handle the truth. I hear a lot of young homebuyers discussing this real estate market. And let's just say, what I'm hearing is not encouraging. So let me give you the good news and the bad news. First, the good news. Down payments are not as big of a deal as you think they are. Saving for a down payment is the number one roadblock for first time home buyers. The 20% down payment requirement feels like a huge obstacle. Luckily, there are so many loan programs out there that do not require the traditional 20% down payment. Some even require zero down. And there are programs like down payment assistance that can help you save even faster. But now, the bad news. Waiting to buy a home is going to cost you. I hear from people all the time, they are waiting for the crash before they jump into buying a home. To me, this is a risky move. Firstly, no one can predict a housing market crash, no matter what their credentials are. And if we are currently in a bubble, we don't know what the effects will be if that bubble bursts. It could cause prices to come crashing down, or maybe just simply level out and rise at a more predictable rate in which case prices will still go up. We do know two things. Demand still outpaces supply in the long run and most likely will for the next few years. We also know that interest rates have been going up. And it is possible that they might continue to go up for the next few years. Regardless, if you look at past interest rates over the last 30 to 40 years, we're about where the average rate is. So right now, rates may be at the lowest that they will be for the foreseeable future. And if they do come down, you will have the opportunity to refinance. The point is, if you want to get into home ownership over the next five years, the best time to do it is still now. If you're feeling overwhelmed about the idea of buying a home in this market, shoot me a message and let's talk about your options.